Many times God will put us in a place and we don't know why or why something's happening to, to us. Um, but, and, and another thing would be, why can we pray for somebody else and we see things happening uh, in answer to prayer, but our own afflictions, he isn't, ta he isn't doing anything about. That's what we feel like. And uh, Paul had that same type of thing happen to him in the Bible. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, it's interesting because Paul wrote over in 2 Corinthians, uh, this is the Church of Corinth, uh, chapter 12, and I go through uh, verse 7 through 10. But um, he says, therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I think that's interesting. He's praying for people and they're being healed, but he's not. But he's not getting a big head about his ministry. He's not like, like these great ministers that go out and evangelist and, and a lot of people are coming to the Lord. This was happening for Paul, but he, he, was, he wasn't going to get big headed about it. He wanted to get conceited about it because his heart belonged to Jesus. But he says that uh, in order for me to become conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan. A messenger of Satan. I thought that's interesting. He says to torment me. Um, he calls it a messenger of Satan because it had a purpose. Um, no one knows if he is referring to anything that was physical, spiritual, or, or emotional. Um, it's something, um, could be something entirely different. But, but since he wasn't talking about a literal thorn, he must have been speaking metaphorically. And something was bugging him, something that happened uh, that he couldn't control. It, it could have been he had a chronic eye problem. We know that. Uh, he may have malaria or migraines or epilepsy. Um, or maybe is this a speech disability, like, like Moses. Moses stuttered. He had a speech disability. Uh, some scholars um, even say that the thorn refer, re, refers to Alexander the coppersmith, who Paul had said did a deal of, uh, dealt him some great harm. Over in 2 Timothy 4.14, it says, Alexander the coppersmith did me great harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. See, no one knows for sure uh, what the thorn was in, in, that Paul talks about, but it was some source of real pain in his life. Uh, he goes on to say that three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in my weakness. So therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses and, and, and insults and hardships and persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Paul was using whatever affliction it was. It's not going to something that was going to hold him back. He was using that so people could actually see. He's praying and he's healing people or people are being healed. And he's bringing people to, to Christ. But yet he had an affliction too. Where obviously people were able to notice but he wasn't letting that bother him. And that was a witness in itself right there. What is your motivation today? Let's think about that, because Paul had his. I'm thinking about what mine is. God bless you, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.